Hey, welcome back, guys. So, I was sitting here yesterday thinking, much like this guy, except I was wearing pants. But, anyways, I was thinking about how far Linux gaming has come lately. And it's been a while since I actually compared it with Windows. So, why not do it now? First off, though, let me preface this by saying I'm not pushing one over the other. I happen to use both. I like my Linux, but DaVinci Resolve doesn't work on it with my AMD card. And there are still some games that won't run or won't run well on Linux. Overall, games do still run better on Windows since most are native to Windows. And I already know there's some guys out there that are going to see Linux in the title and they're instantly going to have a sore vagina. But for some people, Linux is a very good alternative. And if you're already on Linux, you can definitely use it for gaming. And those of you with itchy twats, well, you don't represent everyone. So if your vagina hurts after watching this video, well, that's on you there, little fella. For Windows, I'm using Windows 10 Enterprise 2016 LTSB, and for Linux, I'm using Manjaro Linux 20.1 with a KDE Plasma desktop. The PC is an ASRock X470 Tai Chi with a Ryzen 2700, 16GB of DDR4 3200C14 RAM, and the GPU is a Sapphire R9 Fury. Both OS's are installed on a Team Group M.2 SSD, and all games are installed on a 2TB hard drive, split into two 1TB partitions, NTFS for Windows, and EXT4 for Linux. All games are being run through Steam. Steam on Linux is using the latest Proton build, and on Windows, I'm using MSI Afterburner for the overlay, and on Linux, it's mostly Mango HUD. So now that we know the protocol, let's check it out. All games run at 1080p with the highest settings configured. Gameplay is captured using Radeon Relive in Windows and Simple Screen Recorder on Manjaro. There are some instances where I couldn't move the overlay, like on Doom it was fixed, so I ended up moving it and editing. So we'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison for time's sake and to make it easier to compare. Doom is running native Vulkan in Windows and Linux, and as you can see, both do quite well, with Windows leading with better FPS, but still extremely playable on Linux. Generation Zero was quite surprising. Linux frame rates are almost the same as Windows. Of course, I don't play the game on these settings, but with more medium settings, the game is perfectly playable on both. I almost gave up on Resident Evil 2. Um, selecting DX12 in the game settings made the game pretty stuttery. Uh, but on an off chance, I selected DX11 and it made it perfect. Using DXVK, you can see it is not as good as Windows, but still a very good frame rate. This is also with all graphic settings cranked way up. Uh, reducing some settings would definitely give a better average FPS in both Windows and Linux.
Rise of the Tomb Raider on Linux is a native port by Feral, runs exceptionally well. It is still a little bit behind Windows performance, although beating Windows in the geothermal portion of the benchmark, it runs very, very well. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is one of the Steam games I've been having trouble with lately in Windows, and as you can see, it runs like ass. But in Linux, it is also a native port by Feral, so it does run extremely well. When Shadow runs well in Windows, it does perform a little better than on Linux, but fortunately for me, it runs excellent on Linux, since it likes to give me shit on Windows. Breakfast, that was very surprising. I had to test it again to make sure the settings were the same and that this wasn't a fluke. I hadn't played this game on Linux in a really long time, and when I did, it wasn't for very long. It really didn't seem to do too well. But now, it's actually beating Windows. And finally, I recall trying to run 3D Mark on Linux in the past, and it, it was just awful. Well, now it actually runs Firestrike, so there's actually another way to benchmark your Linux system. 
um, if you make changes or, or overclocks to your machine and you happen to be using Linux. While it'll never score nearly as good as Windows, if you're only benchmarking against another Linux system or after making change to your main system, uh, it's just another benchmark tool that you can add now. Unfortunately, it won't let you add your code for the advanced version, so you're limited in the benchmarks that you can run, and you're stuck with not being able to turn off the goddamn demos at the beginning of the benchmarks. And it won't recognize your hardware in Linux, but I was still amazed it actually worked good enough to be useful. So anyways, I hope someone found this interesting, and I hope no fanboys of Windows or Linux get a hemorrhoid over this. Um, if you like Windows, fine. Windows does many things great. And if you like Linux, also fine, as it also does many things great. Use what works best for you, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one.